dear child of God, please hold on to the profession of your faith. Please hold on to this without wavering, for that is the hope that will keep you sustained. He says, for he is a faithful father. He is faithful that had promised. Dear child of God, God is faithful. Please have it at the back of your mind every day that God is faithful. God is wonderful. God is kind. And God will bring his promises to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. He says, so will I bring upon them all the good that I have promised them. Jeremiah 32 verse 42. Dear child of God, God will bring the promises to pass. God will bring the blessings to pass. God will bring everything you need in your life to pass. God will break protocols for you and cause you to be favored. It will cause you to be uplifted. It will cause you to receive all the things that you desire in your life. But hold on. Hold on to that faith and that belief. It says hope defends, makes the heart sick. Dear child of God, it says the longing fulfilled is the tree of life. The longings of your heart. Your heart desires, God will fulfill them in the mighty name of Jesus. But wait for the promise of the Father. So the word of God says in Acts 1 verse 4, it says, wait for the promise of the Father. Yes, the things he had said to you, he will do them, but wait. We'll keep re-emphasizing it. Wait on the promise. It may take some time. Yes, it may take some delays. Some of them are making up their minds, but wait. Yes, you have made request. It was sent out, but they are processing it. Some people take a longer time to process, but wait. For you would definitely testify of everything that you have believed in God for. You see the word of God in Romans 4 verse 21 says, And being fully persuaded that that which was promised is also able to perform. It says what he had promised, he was also able to perform. Dear child of God, your God is able. Your God is forever able. And he will perform everything that he has said he will do in your life. Call to him today. For he would answer you. Keep hoping on him today. For he will show up. And he will show you great and mighty things that you need to know. Dear child of God, the things you do not know of. The things you have been asking God to come visit you. The areas of your life. You have been saying to God, please come visit me. Come bring the change. Come bring the transformation. I want to assure you, God will bring the change. God will bring the transformation. Everything you have desired. Everything you have been believing Everything you have been asking him to do, he will do. And this is how your joy shall be filled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please do not stop hoping on God. Yes, don't stop having faith. And don't stop having belief in God. The word of God in Proverbs 13 verse 12 says, Hope deferred makes the heart sick. But a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. Yes, it is true that you have had your hopes deferred. Some things you expected, you waited. You trusted, but you didn't get. Dear child of God, don't allow yourself to break. Don't allow yourself to stop believing. Don't allow yourself to stop trusting in God because the promises are for you and they will come to pass. Just keep hoping, believing every day that it would happen. As the Lord said it, so shall it be done. Dear child of God, sometimes you are tired. You're tired to believe. You're tired to have faith. You're tired to stay and wait for the promises to come to pass. But you see, all we need is to keep waiting and trusting. And that is why it was written, all those that wait upon the Lord. He said it would renew their strength. He said it would cause them to mount up with wings as eagles. He said they will run and not be weary. He says they will not faint. Dear child of God, God will cause you to mount up at the end of the day. But wait on him trust in him look at him every day and say father it doesn't matter the situation i'll keep hoping in you i would yet wait on you you see that was what job knew he said even though you slay me i would wait on you i would trust you i may not understand what is happening but i will wait for you to come redeem me because i know that you are alive all he was saying in that instant is that i will keep hoping in you i would hope for my change he said i would hope for my deliverance he says i would hope for my transformation to come and so it did it came dear child of god it came it came your hope is still valid dear child of god is still very valid 
You have been hoping, you have been waiting for years, saying to God, I want my settlement. I want to be married. And nothing has happened. You have waited and waited and waited. Dear child of God, your hope is still very valid. Believe the word of God. Your hope is still very valid. It's still very valid. It's still very valid. And God will make sure you would have your testimonies. You see, the promises of God, the Bible says, are in him. Yea and amen. He says, unto the glory of God by us. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20. He says, the promises of God are yes and amen. The promises of God are yes. Forget whatever the enemies are saying to you. Yes, you may have experienced delays. It may have taken a long time. It may have looked like you have gotten some temporal no's. But I want you to know that it is ultimately yes and you will testify. When what is fitting to you happens, when it comes, you will know it, you will see it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Sometimes when we are praying, the things around us are not fitting. So God will wait until what is fitting comes. Keep hoping for it will come. Keep hoping for your blessings would arrive. Dear child of God, keep hoping for you will testify in the mighty name of Jesus. Keep hoping. Don't stop hoping. Don't stop hoping, dear child of God. It may take some time, but it would arrive. I want to assure you of that. You see, I'm sure Boaz must have prayed, must have told God, I wanted a spouse, I wanted a spouse that will love me, that is God-fearing, that I will be proud about. But you see, it took some time until Ruth showed up. He had people around him at the time. I'm sure there were some nice ladies, but there was something special that he needed to receive when he had received Ruth. And so it happened. When Ruth came, everything began to fall in place. Everything began to fall in line with Boaz. And for Ruth herself, that was not the first. She had experienced some setbacks in her marriage. She had experienced some setback in her previous union, dear child of God. She had experienced some losses, but God worked it out until she met with Boaz. And everything worked so beautifully that the wonderful Jesus came from that lineage. I want to assure you, dear child of God, those hopes are still valid. Things may not have gone so smoothly for you right now. It may not have gone the way you have planned them. It may not have gone in a very wonderful way for you. Yes, it may not have been very comfortable. But keep hoping for the promises a yes and amen in God. It says, Behold, the days will come, said the Lord, that I will perform the good thing that I said that I have promised you and I will do them. He says, I have made this promise to you and I will perform them. I will do them. I will make them happen. You see, Abraham at some point in time got tired of waiting because all the things that God had promised him was so far, was so far, was out of reach. And he could not wait anymore. He made some blunders in the process. But at the end of the day, he was restored. And he would hope on God. He would wait on God. He would call the things that be not as though they were. And God made him to have his testimonies. Yes, it took some time. But he had his testimonies. And God gave him the life to also enjoy the blessings that he had received. Dear child of God, it is not too late for God to show up. Don't worry. And everything that God is doing, He knows why and how He's doing them. And you still testify of them. You will still testify of them in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, you may be saying right now, but some people do not do so much as you have done, but they have gotten it. Don't worry. Dear child of God, keep your focus on God. Don't be envious. Keep your heart stayed on God. And I want to assure you, maybe when you receive yours, you may enjoy yours more than the time that they would enjoy theirs. So don't worry. Don't allow yourself to become worked out. Just stay on God and say, Father, I will keep trusting you. I will keep hoping in you. I will keep believing in you for you to do what you said you would do. And I want to assure you, without fail, you will testify. And the Lord will do everything that he said he would do. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, guess it for you will testify. You will testify of the wonders and of the goodness of God in the land of the living. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I call it done for it is settled and you shall testify. I call it done for you shall have your victories in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the grace of the Lord, the might of the Lord, the anointing of the Lord keep increasing with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. 
God bless you. Shalom.